Um, hi, I'm Philip. I want to talk a bit about the team side, because we're always talking about distributed systems, but distributed teams are also an interesting aspect of that. And well, Conway's law, everything follows the way you build your teams. Um, so let's see where we can take this. Where is everybody working? Who is working in a distributed fashion already from home and stuff like that? Who is working from a coffee place, co-working space, something like that? Who is working in an office? Okay, that's the majority. That's kind of expected. Um, do you have this, I can work from home for one day a week? Is it the slacking off day? Um, because I find it super weird, because I always work from home, and working from home is not the slacking off day. But I know some companies have that concept, and I'm always like, Really? Is this really what you think this is? Um, so I work for Elastic, the company behind the Elastic Stack, Elasticsearch, you've maybe heard of us. We are all fully distributed, our systems and also the people working on it. So we are all working from home and I can tell you, like working from home is not the slacking off day. We are kind of biggish by now and we still make it work, so we are more than a thousand now and we are spread out through a lot of countries, time zones, which sometimes is painful because, well, time zones are always a pain, uh, but generally it's working very well for us. Um, how do you make that work for your company or your team? For us, it all started by being distributed from the very first day. And it's much easier to be starting like that than to just put that on later on. So here, uh, the four gentlemen are the four founders of Elastic. And they were not even in the same city. Even those four people were working in a distributed fashion. And that's how we kind of have that in a company DNA, that everything needs to be shared and in writing or a video call. And you don't just go for a coffee to make a quick decision. Yes, we have a lot of email. We have a lot of GitHub issues. We have way too much Slack. We use a lot of Zoom for the video calls. But at least that scales and you can have video calls with like five or 600 people and it still works. Um, sometimes communication is a bit of a burden because there is a lot, but you just need to make it work and also work on your values to make everybody included in that and figure out what works for you and everybody else. So what are these values that we share to make this actually work? Um, the first one is first we're adults and being trusted. So my team lead, for example, normally doesn't know where I am. Maybe he knows today that I'm in London, maybe he doesn't. Like, I do a lot of events, so he normally doesn't know where I am, but he doesn't have to because he just trusts me to do the right thing in the long run, and he doesn't need to know what I'm doing right now. Um, the other thing that you need to be very careful with is, if we were working from home, you could work all the time. But that's not what you should be doing because that's not going to make you or the company productive. We all have families, we all have passions. You need to kind of find the right boundaries to work on that. And the final thing that is very important is do the right thing. So every time you do something, you need to figure out like what is the right thing either for me or for the company to do. And then you just make that decision and we don't have big structures to tell you what to do. You just figure stuff out as you go along. However, there are definitely downsides. Like I don't want to tell you, oh, this is so awesome. You're just sitting at home drinking nice coffee all day long or in a coffee shop and it's all great. There are definitely downsides to being in a fully distributed team as well. And the first one is time zones. We try to share the pain, so we have like meetings which are rotating between different times that we have them. Yes, I do have a call at 6 a.m. every now and then, and I hate the time, but it's just necessary to make it bearable for everybody. Otherwise, it shouldn't always be the same people who do the suffering. And the other thing you need to keep in mind is that communication can just fail, because different cultures are just Writing on Slack can sometimes create misunderstandings. You need to be very understanding and always try to assume the best and then work on that. And now a lot of people ask like, show me the awesome numbers. Why is this working so much better than any other system? Um, unfortunately, I don't have those numbers. Um, I could make some up and yeah, some people do that and say like, look at this, like I have this study and 87 studies say something is better, like Gilbert always knows. Um, we could create the same uh, numbers here, and I could show you why this is so much better. Um, I don't want to do that. It's just creating the wrong metrics and then people blindly follow them. Uh, I just want to show one indicator. These are, some time ago, the people that joined the company and the people that left. And for us, as long as the people joining is much larger than the people leaving, we have the feeling we're on the right track and getting where we want to be. Um, so to wrap up, working in a distributed team is very, cool if you're the right person for that. I know that some people really want their co-working colleagues uh, and want to work in an office. So it's not made for everybody, 
but it can be really a great choice to do what you want. And kind of the final question is, where do you want to work now? Who still wants to work in an office? No, I, I'm just heckling. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm always taking a picture with you so I can prove to my colleagues that I've been working today. <laughs> um, if you don't want to be in a picture, just look away, everybody else wave. Thanks a lot.